Hello, you wonderful beings. I would like to share a painting with you in, I think, uh, ten times the speed uh, than it was originally drawn. Yeah, and talk a little bit about the process, but actually not about the painting process, because um, obviously you can you can see how I, how I uh, painted it. Um, but about why I painted it and from from where I draw the the the, the inspiration or the, the the fuel I would say so I've been waiting for this for a very long time well actually I've been waiting for me for a very long time to do this in this case the the first topic I want to talk about is lucid dreaming and um, I I really um, pull a lot of inspiration from my dreams because I think that um, we have an inbuilt uh, graphic card actually, so a real tool that is processing visual information and I think that to, to um, process our visual information there's a big, a big part of energy that's used to do that, and I realized that um, the ability to draw something is actually not really the ability to draw something, but to recognize something as real. So the drawing itself when it comes to the technical part uh, uh, can be learned in a very fast way the seeing however or the recognizing of things uh, I think it takes a, a long time to learn that um, to recognize something as real so um, uh, I start with the following example um, when I go into the dream and um, I experience the dream in the past and then like oh I remembered I was in this amazing forest um, um, last night like that that it happened and I remember how I w were there then um, I'm actually already putting it in a box that it can be only something that I experienced in a very um, distant place somewhere in the past. Um, when I have a lucid dream, however, and I'm really in this moment and I'm really like, wow, I am in this forest right now, then I am actually recognizing this forest as real and when I recognize this forest as real already many steps are made for me to be able to visualize this forest whether in text whether in, in speech or in a painting but I recognized it as real so I have something that people uh, here in, in our world would describe as inspiration. So um, many people say seeing is drawing. Uh, uh, sorry, dr drawing is seeing. Um, um, so um, I would like to, I would say, di dissect uh, that and, and say, well, what is seeing then? What is this this thing we call seeing and yes when you you can see you can draw something and I would describe seeing is to recognize that something is real and um, that can happen <laughs> in very uh, very very uh, uh, simple situations that when you 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 are in a in a um, conflict uh, uh, with a friend or uh, maybe with your partner or whatever and um, 
often these um, these uh, things or the, these tensions or frictions come from not recognizing that certain things are real, even persons. So the moment you tap into this recognizing and you say, wow, this person is real and the thing the person wants to say is real, you instantly move towards the solution of the problem. And I think it's a very similar thing with painting because you kind of pull it in, uh, in your reality not by actually um, using the dynamic of pulling but um, the dynamic of um, accepting and um, a, a kind of surrendering and saying okay I accept that this is a part of my reality. So, um, the more you accept something uh, as a part of your reality, the more you will actually, uh, uh, I would say, uh, move your butt to to work, to be in harmony with that thing that is in your real reality. If you actually do not really accept that something is in your reality, you, you wouldn't take any effort to, to work, to be in harmony with that. I think I'm making it a little bit complicated here, but it's, it's actually very easy in relation to painting. And um, I, I make maybe another example uh, uh, with food. If, if, you, uh, if you realize, okay, my body is very real, my body is actually there, and I have to take care of it. The moment I accept my body as real, I'm really taking the time and effort to, to take care of it. And I really accept it as, as a real thing. And it might sound a very paradox or, or crazy, but actually many people um, um, do, don't realize that their, their friends are real or their body is real or nature is real. Um, especially uh, in the time where we have, have a lot of digital painting and a lot of um, <laughs> ironically artificial environment we tend to think think things are not real so um, um, when we uh, fully apply this to painting now uh, we can take this tree for example now, um, when I pulled this tree um, out of my, uh, how can I say, uh, uh, inner uh, space or, or, or inner existence, because it's actually existing there, I simply recognized it as real in this world. So, all I had to do is formulate it and the formulating of it is the, as I said, the technical part, the part of, of drawing, the, the technical ability to know the shortcuts, to, to know how to create a layer and, and pick a color. This is the, the formulating, like when a person is very, uh, very good at talking, uh, which I'm not, uh, as you all noticed, then a person can actually describe worlds, but the part that is resonating with you is actually not just the technique it's the part that this person accepted as real as total reality as something that is really 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 existing and only uh, when you accept something as absolutely real then passion can kick in and yeah so um, so that is just for the recognizing something as real so that that is um, what I think um, or w what I would describe to myself as seeing and that when you can see you can actu actually draw and now we often have this um, when we do live drawings 
and um, or if people um, are doing live drawings, I can really recommend to do live drawings because it's really a heavy training uh, for your for your eyes. You could, of course, pull everything from your inner space, but I, I think would use some kind of I don't know meditation or uh, pulling it out from the ether. But you can also simply go to a live drawing course. I think that's it's easier, and and in this case, really the more practical, the, the faster way to resonate with how things are built in in this reality. Um, so. When you are in, in a life drawing course, you um, see the, the curves of the anatomy. So, let's say you have a leg or something or an arm, and you are you are watching the curve of this arm, and you say, "Oh, wait a second! There's this little bump. There's this little bump that makes it really like fleshy or or, or whatever." And then you draw this this little bump, and where uh, um, and someone who would not have really looked would have just drawn a straight line. So in this case you would really have recognized this little bump as real and the other person wouldn't. The other person would have just recognized the arm as real. So um, it's, it's a simple, um, I would say, formula that you can apply to to really check yourself if you're really in the present moment and really like okay am i uh, uh, observe am i really uh, observing well what i'm seeing with my eye and um, so when you have when you have not trained your ability to see in the i would say external world like in life drawing for example, then how do you want to be able to visualize things that come from your inner eye? It's uh, it's possible, but it's very very heavy if you haven't done the, the the practical steps in the outside world first. So I think really in in our uh, mental evolution or however you want to call it, uh, I don't know. There are so many fights about it. So I want to keep it very simple. In this step, I personally think it's first outside. You learn the whole um, baby and youth thing, like uh, what I'm going to eat, uh, what, what I'm doing to my body, what I'm doing to others. And then it's this grown-up stuff, like what is happening inside. And that is really a challenge, I would say, because there's so many stuff uh, going on that we don't know. Um, and I think uh, painting, uh, which is... a of course a heavy reflection of the inside uh, I think plays a really really major role to get closer and more in resonance with your inner eye um, so you can really try to to um, to approach uh, painting more from a, from an um, uh, internal perspective and see um, how it affects your, your work in the second place Instead of thinking your your brain is a hard drive where, where everything is stored, everything is already stored in you. The question is, do you have the ability to see that that parts that are inside you? And I think there it gets very hard, but it is absolutely possible. So um, it's it's uh, really like a muscle that you can train. And I enjoy to do this on a regular basis. So this is why um, I like to show this painting, because it was really done from scratch. Very often I had no idea what I would draw. And then I <laughs> would just randomly take some brush strokes and take some overlays and whatever and let me be inspired by my own I don't know, abstract things, which is also a very um, great way to learn and, and to get closer with your abilities to draw. But when it comes to seeing, it's a bit different, because um, when I worked on, on different projects where uh, we had to tell a story, it was, it was so much more difficult to, to, to draw something that you already have in mind, where you're like, oh man, I know there's something that I want to express, I know there's this, 
this kind of slot that I really want to, to show, to present. And it's much, much harder to, to present that the way you want than to just randomly draw something and, and look whatever comes up. Um, so, in this case, I really wanted to, um, to draw a, a treehouse. And, and it's really um, a good practice when you visualize things first. Um, it's not a good, uh, necessarily a good practice for the technical side, but for the aspect of seeing, for the aspect of is the, the image that I'm seeing in front of my inner eye, is it that which I am expressing now? So you can really, really train this with visualizing beforehand, you know, just like going inside, breathing very deeply, calming down and looking... Uh, and taking a picture and being like, okay, I know there's this picture inside of me and I'm going to look at it. And um, then when I'm drawing it, um, I'm not going to make any excuses. You're not going to be like, I think I'm not going to do a tree house. It's going to be more like a cave. No, be, be really honest and go really in, in depth with, with this um, visualization technique because then you're really training the connection to your inner eye and what is happi happening in, in the worlds that are actually really existing inside of you. So yeah, that's that's it so far. I hope you enjoyed it, and um, maybe you could resonate with with some of the things I talked about. And yeah, thank you very much for listening and for making it through this video.